Hey, this is Slotty Bart Fast, and I'm having a good day. Yes. If you heard my bad day the other day, it was very bad. It was shockingly bad, and I was giving up all hope. <gasps> oh, my life. But now things have turned around, and I can laugh at the haters. Ha ha, haters. Yes, you can't get me, you haters from 1164 and Facebook and CSDB. Commodore scene drama bases will refer to it from now on. Just so you don't go there. You know, it's not necessary to go there. And you don't have to put your releases on CSDB because they don't care about the community. And if you put a community game on there, they'll crack it and distribute it and laugh at you. Ha! Huh. It's great. It's so supportive. Anyway, I won't go about that anymore because I'm having a good day. Last night, I got quite inspired about the Ink DO2. To o project. Uh, I mentioned it briefly on previous videos and um, it expanded exponentially since then. I, I got all the content, several more interviews, and um, made a, a, an article version of the introduction to 6510 assembly coding article. And um, last night I worked out, I, I, I was going to, I got desperate because. I did a basic layout for the magazine in Word and Publisher because that's all I had, and because Adobe InDesign wouldn't work, well, my slightly pirated copy wouldn't work, and then I, I went back to Blurb's free software, Bookwrite, which I thought was very basic when I first looked at it, and then last night I worked it out, and it's probably much better than InDesign could ever be. It's specifically made to to do modular. Um, advanced designs and if I could design web pages in the same way that I could design with that then we'd be looking at some pretty nice web pages and I might look into that <laughs> yeah that'd make a cool tool all right okay that's a side project for me I just thought of anyway I, I basically went to blurb with my finished magazine up to about four hours of working on it and it's got a whole new design with screenshots and advanced design layouts and blurb allows you to upload it straight from the software if you've got the right if, right amount of pages i only had 49 it has to be a multiple of four because of the way the pages are printed um so it's got 52 pages in the end i filled it out with advertisements for, from google images joke ones you know old advertisements for Commodore 64 in a new magazine it's hilarious and also i got the banners from the Commodore banner exchange, the best ones, and all the sites that I like, and put them in the magazine as advertisements for, for placeholders. Because this is the zero th preview issue, it's not a real issue of the magazine. A real issue of the magazine would have more code in it for a start, and I've got all that lined up with a few seen authors already. They'll be disappointed they couldn't be in this issue, but this issue is packed full of interviews and a little bit of code, so it'll be good. The interviews are all about code, and they're about game, game and demo development, so you find it very interesting, extension to this channel. Now I've got the PDF version of the magazine right here. You can buy that on the shop channel, which the description will link to, uh, for $2 US. And I get that $2 US profit, um, and I put it in my pocket, and I make more videos. And I make a new magazine. And I've set up a Patreon for, for Ink Do 2 as well, separate from this Patreon. And it's much more ambitious than this Patreon, and it should be. And also, um, you can buy a, pr a professionally print-on-demand printed color magazine with a glossy cover and 52 pages and retro advertisements in it for only $15 US and I only get $2 profit on that because it's a print on demand price but if you can wait until January 10th to buy the print edition I'm going to buy them in I'm going to buy $1000 worth in bulk and I'll, I'll be able to bring the price right down to about $8 and then I'm going to have an 8 gigabyte SD card loaded with all the latest all the core so software for the Commodore 64 and all the latest PC tools and that you'll get the magazine with the cover disc, which is actually an SD card, and um, that will be how the magazine is distributed in future. Not through Blurb, it'll be distributed through me, I won't have a Blurb page for it. 
Okay, and I, I was going to sort of kickstart it just to fund that, but I've got a thousand dollars in Gen on January tenth, and I'm going to spend it on the magazine. I was going to buy a new computer, save up another thousand dollars, buy a two thousand three hundred dollar gaming PC, but I've just fixed the the boot driver in this in this computer, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's only a three year old computer, but the boot drive failed, and I panicked, <laughs> and I lost all my source codes and everything, just as I was starting this adventure. So we've got the magazine here, and just click to open it. Uh, my acrobat's fucked. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't say that. Now we've got the the front cover. That's the front cover there. Uh, and the editorial, which explains the whole story. No. Go away, Skype. And just to get rid of that horrible Skypeness. Some music on the background. Then we're going to take up the fan of Karate Devils, and that's really pixel but it's kind of looks going to leave that one. We've got the contents page. Now, I, I, I haven't laid this out properly. I thought the contents page would be over two, two pages, but apparently it's not. I'm not sure if it's print magazine it is, or, or what. I, I suspect I've done it wrong. So we're going to have to add another page in there. I'm going to release another edition of this magazine um, with, with proper fixed design um, on Thursday, on Wednesday when I get paid. So we've got the introduction and a tennis card. We've got the introduction to 6510 assembly coding article, which is an article version of the one that was on the channel. Then we've got Algorithm talking about his demo, Algo Dreams, and his life with Com 64 in the demo scene. Then we've got Janice Lindbergh, also known as the Mad Scientist of the Kiddo Force, and he reveals all about his game development career and his life with Commodore 64. And then he interviewed me as a bit of a joke, so you can meet Slidey Bunkbus and learn all about him in my career. And then we've got the developer of the Seek Redux engine, the amazing engine that lets you make a whole new amazing shit ups out of your Seek games. Martin Piper speaks all about it. And then we used his engine to digitally remaster in a pure fashion the Final Attack and put it the Final Attack 2017 Redux Remastered Edition. And I put it on, on CSDB and they whacked a huge label on it. Thanks very much for ruining my release. So I'm setting up my own scene database on DO2O uh, 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 and it's going to be better than theirs and it's going to be mobile friendly which theirs is it. And there's this going to die in the arse and in the end, and mine isn't. Mine's going to thrive. It's going to have a whole community of innocent assholes. Then we have Richard Bayless behind the new invention. And then we have on the slab with the one and only Kadabba of Passion and Metal Warrior fame. And lastly, we've got the, the guy behind the C64 port of this Apple game genius, Dan Liberani. He's not well known, but his game's great and he does great interviews. Now I see we've got some banners that have turned into our posters for the magazine. They're just placeholders, no one's getting paid um, for these ads. I just put them in there because I like these particular websites. And I haven't linked them or anything. But in, in the next magazine, you'll be able to have linked ads, advertisements in my magazine. You can pay me. It'll be very cheap. We're talking an ad like that scene right out there. It costs you 20 bucks. An ad that takes half a page. It costs you 50 bucks. And then it takes a whole page with a strip of bucks. So I didn't give up, so you can all fuck yourselves, haters. Sorry if it's blaring for my younger viewers, but I'm, I had I almost had a really bad, bad time over that. 
And now look what I'm coming out with. A real printed magazine running $15 or $2 US for a digital version. Now there's only for about me, it's got lots of screenshots of my demos. And then Martin Piper, oh, he's just the developer of Secret Redux. I didn't think I'd be able to find a lot of screenshots of him, but he's actually been pretty prolific. He actually goes into code in his, in his um, Instagram, which is interesting. Now, let's see, I've made much, much use of those banners, and that half the page is filled up with banners. Then we've got the Secret Redux article, and I couldn't play through the game, it was too hard. But I'll, I'll take more screenshots for the, the new edition on Wednesday. Uh, 1.08. Yeah, they're pretty chill because their pixels are going looks good. This came up with Commodore looks perfect, but that one is way too pixels. I'll be replacing that. Uh, uh, Richard Bayless. That one is too pixely. Metal Warriors. That's alright. Metal, Metal Warriors screenshots. That, is, that one's good. That one's good. That one's too pixely. And that's the end of the magazine. Now, the gunship. Um, one looked really amazing on my editor, but in print it doesn't look so great, so I'll be replacing that as well. So that's the magazine, and it's got 50 pages, it'll probably take about 2 hours to read the whole thing, and of course it'd be much nicer to have as a printed version, but if you want the printed version, I suggest waiting until um, January 10th, it's probably about mid-January, and I'll be able to ship out um, 200 copies at, at about $8 a copy with an SD card, so it'll come out to about Twelve dollars, and and yeah, we'll see how we go. I don't think SD card is about five dollars, so there's still be fifteen dollars, but um, you'll get an SD card loaded with software, including C64 Studio CH, E or C64 Studio SHA Codec Edition. Now it's got a self-executable install, which is very professional, I think, way of distributing it. And to distribute, distinguish myself apart from C64 Studio, I'm now going to call it the C64 Code Hacking Studio to distribute it and distinguish myself apart from this project. Because I plan to recompile it and change it entirely. Just press extract and it extracts it, but I don't want to extract it. So, that's the magazine. I, I hope that, you know, even if you feel you don't want to support the Patreon at this point, that's fair enough because I haven't given you a lot of information, only about six videos. But if you would like to support my projects, and I have many, then please buy the magazine for $2. Or if you get the printed version for $15, and I'll get $2 profit on that. I only get $2 profit on the printed version, and I get $2 profit on the, on the ebook version. I get the whole profit on the ebook. I could charge a lot more for the ebook, but I won't, because this is a preview issue. Now, the next issue will probably cost you $5 for the ebook, and um, it'll still be $15 for the printed version. I think it's very reasonable because the $5 one you'll, you'll be able to download the cover disc uh, um, from Dropbox. Okay, well, well, that's uh, that's all I've got to say. And have a happy day because I have. And um, everything is going awesome. The project's on track. And I might even start the Mega magazine called Rock Lobs so the Mega code is digest. I'm um, seriously considering it. I've made up the front cover already. And that'll take another few weeks. Okay, so support my Patreon, download the magazine, uh, or, or buy the printed version. There's links to my new Patreon project in there, you can support that if you want. It's much more worthy than this one, this one's too young uh, in the project. And that's all for me, and um, it's goodbye for me, and hello to Co. Good afternoon.